demolition of the C340 metals complex, which was used to manufacture uranium metal during the Cold War, began on September 26, 2012. The building was covered with about 2,000 panels, weighing as much as 170 pounds each, that had to be manually removed from as high as 120 feet, lowered to the ground using heavy equipment, and packaged for on-site disposition. As panel removal progressed, demolition began. The single-story north and south annexes were demolished first. Raising of a single-story, high base section was completed in mid-December, allowing workers to get into position to remove the rest of the panels. Panel removal was completed on December 19th, and about half of the complex was demolished by the end of 2012. Starting in early 2013, an ultra-high-reach demolition machine, similar to equipment used to demolish Yankee Stadium, was used to cut into upper portions of the building's last standing section. The seven-story section, which was the site's tallest structure, was the last to be taken down. DOE cleanup contractor, Latta, Kentucky, reduced the structure to slab as of February 12, 2013. Only one of 25 facilities remains to be demolished as part of the inactive facilities removal program. The metals plant encompassed about 1.5 million cubic feet, the volume of a football field roughly three stories tall. About 63,000 cubic feet of demolition debris was sent to the site's solid waste landfill during the six-month project. About 52,000 cubic feet of PCB waste was shipped by rail in July and August to Energy Solutions, a commercial waste disposal facility in Utah. About 20,000 gallons of sump and decon water were treated on site for trace levels of uranium and PCBs. The Paducah C340 building demolition project was one of the top 10 accomplishments within the DOE complex in 2012-2013, according to DOE headquarters in Washington, D.C. Dave Heisenga, head of DOE's Environmental Management Program, told Congress on March 19th that the C340 project was completed ahead of schedule and within budget, and represents a major milestone in the cleanup of the Paducah gaseous diffusion plant.